Hi, I'm Maldnik and this is a map that I made in Sea Skylines. But the purpose of this video is not to show off this map because it has lots of flaws uh, and I'll be making a new map. But I thought that this map would be useful to try to share the experiences and maybe some of the uh, techniques, you might call them, uh, that I've developed making maps so far. To be honest, I think that if you wanted a perfect, really nice looking map, you would have drawn it in a PNG file and then drawn the height map in a PNG file and then imported it. Uh, you would have drawn your valleys and all the textures of your mountains and then you just import it. But a PNG would be perfect but you don't really know what the map is going to look like until you're actually looking at it and so using the in-game train tools uh, is probably going to be your best bet in terms of making something that looks good as you go along at least at the start. Biggest flaw in this map is these distortions that are occurring in my river. And these distortions are occurring because I wanted a natural flowing river. I wanted a river that had gentle riverbanks. Gentle riverbanks means that they flood easily. And I wanted a river that actually flowed. So this topographic map completely slopes down and maybe slopes too much here I mean you've got one color gradient's worth in this bit of the slope and then suddenly you've got there so um yeah too fast too furious too chaotic while we're here though I just I haven't seen anyone talk about this yet, but I feel this can't be a coincidence. I think when you save a map, it subtracts the uh, the tree layer from your fertile lands because yeah, it's yeah, it just lines up too too perfectly. Though I mean, they have sort of. I don't know, but it does seem, because obviously putting fertile land like that, that looks dumb and boring, so I mean I put some texture in, um, that might have been too extreme, yeah, that was too extreme. Uh, some texture in with the brushes and that might have been unnecessary because the trees are just going to subtract anyway providing texture so just put trees on top of your fertile land and it will texture out things in a way that looks natural now actual important good things. Most of the maps, in fact all of the developer made maps that I've seen, the start of their rivers they have at least slight wall and then the water sources can obviously flow only one way and flow downstream but to me that's cheating and it doesn't look as good. So instead I put the water sources halfway off the edge. Halfway because the water is going to be flowing from essentially that's going to raise up a circle of water height and the water is going to flow off that circle and so if you put your circle fully it's going to go out in every direction and some of those directions can be backwards 
as it is, you're going to have some backwards flow because the water is on the edge of the world and it goes, I can just flow off the edge. But as you see, it only, we only have a little edge of backwards flow and the rest is forwards. And you can't, if we go back to here, this is a better example because I haven't disturbed it. We have this backwards flow, forwards flow. From a distance, you can't see that backwards flow at all. Like even from here, you can only barely see water flowing backwards. And this is all gently flowing downstream. And in fact, we can see, just as a final thought, see there are water sources in this lake. And that's leading to what I would term like a star or kind of asterisk pattern of water flow, which you can't really see in a lake because it's fairly flat and deep, but you can see on rivers. The other advantage of doing things my way and having the river go to the very edge is that you can then do this. I have a shipping line that goes all the way up my river and that looks cool. At least I think it does. So how did I make this river? A river that's naturally flowing, as it were. So I started in this harbour, I made a harbour, and then from that harbour I drew a slope to each corner, each turn, so it sloped from the harbour to the turn here, sloped from this turn to that turn, and from there to there, and there up to there. And then from the riverbeds that I created with those slopes, like this is just a rough drawing of the riverbed I started with, and then ha drew my rough mountain ranges, like roughly where I wanted them to be. And then I drew slopes from the riverbed to those mountains, out and out. I mean, I filled in a peninsula and I, again, drew slopes. And hopefully I'll show the, you this in a, another video where I make a new map. But that way I created slopes slope down a nice gentle valley slope that looks a lot more natural than if I was to just dig oh, let's try let, let's just dig a valley somewhere if I was to just dig a valley I mean, digging is good for making canyons, but it's too, it's not gentle enough. And even if you smooth it out, I mean, smoothing brings its own problems. I just didn't want these rough, rocky riverbanks. I wanted the sandy, gentle ones. So yeah, that's been a few of the things that I've learned or experienced in map editing. It's a bit hard to just come out and list every single thing that you learn, really. And perhaps just looking at some of my mistakes or flaws uh, might give you some information. Also, maybe you've seen my map and have been inspired in some things that you want to steal from it, some like ideas. Um, this certainly isn't perfect, but for now, I guess that is it, and I'll see you next time when I actually make a new map and you can see all of the process and see how I do it. And maybe tell me that I'm wrong, but I mean, I don't claim to be the best at this. I'm not some dumb nerd, so yeah. See you later.